The Legion Seeker Squad. Seeker squads are comprised of specialist force of space marines whose principal task on the battlefield is to identify an enemy's command structure, its warlords, officers, priests, demagogues, whatever they may be, and slay them with a well-placed bolt round while the battle rages around them. The Alpha Legion are said to have first crystallized this tactic and squad configuration, which has since, with the Emperor's approval, spread to the other legions. Although its use sits poorly within the combat doctrine of some, Seeker Squad members are chosen primarily on pure merit as the best shots in their legion. As a Seeker Strike Force will often be forced to rely on the briefest window of opportunity to take down their targets at close range, rather than have the luxury of distance and able sighting as a sniper in a reconnaissance squad might have. To aid them in the kill, Seeker squads are usually equipped with special issue ammunition to better deal with their chosen victims. The Legion Outrider Squad Outriders are mechanised Space Marine reconnaissance squads who take to the field mounted on ruggedly constructed all-terrain armoured ground bikes and scramblers. Used for scouting missions as well as rapid encirclement and hit and run attacks behind enemy lines, the chief advantage of the Outriders is speed their bikes enabling them to cover ground far quicker than infantry and go where heavier vehicles cannot. The Legion Attack Bike Squadron Attack bikes are larger, often two-man bikes, which expanded chassis can accommodate a single heavy weapon, making for a formidably armed and swift, if somewhat fragile, gun platform. Attack bikes often accompany outrider units to provide fire support and are also deployed in squadrons as a high speed strike force to ravage larger, slower enemy units and destroy isolated armoured vehicles with concentrated weapons fire. The Legion Jet Bike Skyhunter Squadron Skyhunters are feared strike units which use sophisticated and powerful jet bikes as mounts. These grav impeller assisted jet engine propelled craft are more akin to compact aircraft than ground bikes and are able to maintain great speeds for extended periods of low altitude flight. Their lift strength is sufficient not only to carry a heavily armoured space marine and his war gear aloft but also carry a variety of heavy weapons mounts and stocks of ammunition, giving the Sky Hunters extremely potent firepower. The jet bike patterns in service with the Space Marine Legions are modifications of designs which considerably predate the Imperium, and given the materials required to make and maintain them, such as the iridium calcite alloys needed to fabricate the hyper efficient suspensor repulsor plates required for flight, demand for them by the legions has always outstripped supply. The Primaris Lightning Strike Fighter 
a relatively recent addition to the armories of the Great Crusade, the Primaris Lightning Strike Fighter is a high-speed sub-orbital fighter craft designed for high-speed interception, interdiction and surgical strike rolls. Created by the Arc Magos Arbiter Psychosk Thuel, master of the sovereign forge world of Voss, the Primaris Lightning represented a new paradigm in Aero Warcraft, being built around a powerful forced plasma ramjet drive and optimized for the most sophisticated munitions and avionics systems available. While exceeding all similar patterns in service of its size, for speed and payload capacity, it was extremely costly to produce, proved difficult to maintain and difficult to handle by all but the most experienced pilots. Flaws Psychosk attributed purely to the failure of the weak flesh. These factors, however, saw the pattern's issue limited to the elite close support units of the most well-resourced legions and the Mechanicum itself. And while a degraded, if more easy to operate and maintain version of the Lightning was rumoured to be under construction just prior to the outbreak of the Horus Heresy, this reduced pattern paid no part in the conflict. The Legion Tarantula Sentry Gun Possessed of formidable firepower, automated weapons platforms and sentry gun batteries are used by many of the Imperium's diverse armed forces to take on the mundane duties of point defence and security, both planet side and aboard ship. The most common of these designs is the Tarantula, whose ease of construction, multiple weapons configurations and general reliability have made it a staple of the arsenals of the Great Crusade and a well-regarded, if perhaps inglorious, tool of war. The Space Marine Legions in particular make use of Tarantulas in a forward deployment role and see them as entirely disposable assets. Often utilising them in the thick of battle to defend a forward position, draw out enemy forces for attack, or even to guard a withdrawal or pin an enemy force during a feint. To this end, tarantulas may be dropped into forward positions on the battle lines immediately prior to suspected engagement via hovering servo carriers or placed by reconnaissance forces under concealment to provide an unpleasant surprise for an attacker. The Anvilus Pattern Dreadclaw Drop Pod the Anvilus Pattern Dreadclaw Drop Pod was initially designed to insert Legion Space Marine boarding forces onto enemy void craft in the midst of battle. As such, they have minimal profile and a heavily armoured hull, designed to survive fire from smaller ship-based close defence weaponry, while a series of melter cutters allow it to slice through a ship's outer hull and deliver its cargo into the heart of a vessel. Unlike some earlier boarding craft, which were incapable of returning their cargo to friendly ships, the Dreadclaw is also fully capable of operating as an independent dropship. Indeed, many legions favour using the Dreadclaw in this role instead of the more common Storm Eagle. Dropping from the sky like a flaming comet and employing the craft's thermal jets and melter cutters to scorch the landing zone clean before disembarking the assault troops contained within. 
Though lacking in any subtlety or elegance, this tactic is undeniably effective, and many crews have developed a dark notoriety for their skill at reckless low altitude strafing runs, leaving great swathes of the enemy's lines aflame with each pass. The Legion Land Speeder. Mainstays of most Space Marine Legion armories, land speeders are high speed reconnaissance and rapid attack skimmers that utilize anti gravity technology to achieve extraordinary battlefield mobility and speed. As lightly armored two man craft, they require the kind of skill and reflexes to operate at peak performance that only a space marine can bring to bear, and rely more on their extreme maneuverability and speed for survival than durability. Land speeder squadrons provide a space marine force with a flexible core of rapidly deployable firepower and make for highly able tank hunters and close air support units. As a result, mixed formations of land speeders are often called upon to operate as a rapid reaction force, held in reserve to quickly intercept enemy counterattacks. Striking fast and hard, they are particularly apt to fight delaying actions, whilst the rest of a Space Marine force moves into attack positions or redeploys and are able to use their speed to retreat successfully if needed from the very teeth of a foe. The Legion Storm Eagle Assault Gunship The Storm Eagle Assault Gunship is one of the most numerous designs found in a Space Marine Legion air fleet. A dedicated tactical strike unit, its primary roles are orbital assault deployment of Legion infantry forces and low level ground attack. The Storm Eagle is a rugged and durable machine, very heavily armed for its size and considerably protected by armor plating. Although it lacks the speed and maneuverability of true fighters and bombers, in operational use it proved itself an extremely flexible vehicle serving capably as a long-range transport, orbital shuttle, scout and interceptor when called upon to do so in addition to its main battlefield roles. First constructed on Terra over the course of the Great Crusade, Principal manufacturing of the Storm Eagle shifted to the forge worlds of Anvilus, Galatea and Tigris, whose vast output was sufficient to provide all of the Space Marine Legions and the Custodian Guard with extensive squadrons of these well-regarded and adaptable craft. The Xiphon Pattern Interceptor The Xiphon Interceptor is a Legion's Astartes Void Atmospheric Combat Craft with an ancient lineage. Its origins are long lost, but it shares many of its component STC patterns with craft as diverse as the Ambut Voyager and the Thunderbolt Fighter. While unique variations have been encountered on lost human colonies or in the hands of nomadic corsairs, the Legion's Astarte Xiphon was modified from that of the Paramadandrith Enclave, brought into compliance in 806 M30 and produced at Celestrix until its annihilation in 914 M30. While the Enclave had used Saiga augmented pilots to withstand the extreme stresses generated by the interceptor's performance. It was found that Space Marines could successfully operate the craft without harm, 
although this limitation prevented the Xiphon from use within the wider Imperial fleet. Though potent and heavily armed, the Xiphon was complex, had limited operational range compared to the larger Rat, as well as being ill-favoured by the Mechanicum. By the time of the late Great Crusade, it had all but fallen out of frontline service, except within the Ultramarines and Dark Angels legions. The shockwaves of the Horus Heresy, however, was to see many legions press their reserves of the Xiphon back into battle. The Legion Javelin Attack Speeder Javelin attack speeders share many of the advanced systems found in the jet bikes of the Legion's Astarte Skyhunter Strike Squadrons, and as such are both rare and highly valued. Utilising a range of anti-grav impeller technologies so esoteric that some amongst the Mechanicum regard them with overt distrust. Javelin attack speeders are time-consuming to construct and difficult to repair should they sustain battle damage. Nevertheless, they are fast, highly maneuverable, have an extended operational range and perhaps most importantly are able to carry a heavy payload of weapon systems. All of these characteristics ensure that these rare attack vehicles remain in high demand amongst the Legion's Astartes, as well as other elite formations, such as the Legio Custodes and the Sisters of Silence. <laughs>